So what you just saw was a stem cell injection in the lumbar spine. This patient had facet degeneration that needed some treatment because of progressive degenerative changes. Uh, that can cause back pain. It can also irritate nerves by growing the facet into the area where the nerves travel out. So the injection is to provide uh, facet regeneration of the cartilage tissue. Uh, these injections can also be done into the disc and this can also be applied to the thoracic spine and lumbar spine. So with stem cell injections, we can do them in a variety of different ways. However, usually they're done under x-ray guidance so that we can properly place the needle into the right position. During the procedure, we have the patients sedated or sometimes they can be treated with local anesthetic so they don't feel the injection. It's really a patient's choice on how they want to have the procedure done. Once the procedure is over, they go to the recovery room and they can go home the same day and just do some light activities for the rest of the day. So the stem cells we use today for this injection were actually pre-harvested. We have the option of either harvesting from the patient or having it donated tissue. Both of these are very good options for stem cell. It's just patient's choice and how they want the procedure to be done. Uh, this procedure specifically, we used x-ray guidance. We noted on the body where the injection was going to be done, and then we placed lidocaine, which is a numbing medication, into the pathway where the injection is being placed. This just helps for pain control during the procedure as well as some numbness after the procedure. When they go home, when the medication wears off, we instruct them to use some cold compresses for their back so that it helps with any local tenderness. Anti-inflammatory medication usually will impede the inflammatory process of stem cell production, so we have them hold off on medications like that for the first couple weeks. That medication would include things like ibuprofen or naproxen. Those are the typical ones that people take, but there's a variety of different ones. So if you have any questions about this procedure or are interested in having this done, please give our office a call.